Now let's talk about how to sort our information in Excel. And by sort, I mean arrange it a specific way. So for instance, we could arrange project IDs from smallest to largest. We could do project manager, ascending to descending, etc. cetera. Uh, due date from newest to oldest, and so on. In order to do that, though, we need to check our information to make sure it's set up properly. Uh, one of the most important things when we're looking to sort information is we want to make sure we have a row of headers. So these are column headers. I've got project ID, project manager, etc. Uh, that helps Excel identify what the name of the column is. Additionally, I want to make sure for Excel to process my sort per, uh, correctly that I don't have any blank columns uh, in between information that I want to keep together. So for instance, if I want this row to remain a record or one line of information, for instance, the project ID relates uh, to this cell because Janet is the project manager of project ID, and this is the due date for this project ID. So I want all of this information in this row to stay together. If I want it to stay together, I should not have a blank column. So for instance, if column F was blank, then column G out here would be all by itself and it wouldn't stay together with the rest of this. So we'll see how that works. But since this is all together, it should work properly. And there's two different ways we can do a basic sort. And I'll show you the first one. The first is just to click on the top cell. So this would be in this row anywhere here in the column that we want to sort. So I want to sort by project ID. So I'll click here. And then I'm just going to come up to the ribbon. I'm in the data tab. And I'll click on smallest to largest. Now watch the uh, column over here to see if it works. And when I click on sort, sure enough it does sort it. So now I've got it in order from smallest to largest all the way down. The other thing it did, if uh, you noticed, was what we talked about. This top row, remember Janet was the project manager? She's not there anymore and that's because Phil is the project manager of this specific project ID. So this ID was somewhere else in the table and since all of these columns were together, when I did my sort, it brought the rest of the information from that row along with it. So that's a nice thing that Excel does. Now if I want to sort a different way, I can either highlight the whole row by clicking here on the number three, or I can just highlight my column headers, and then come up to the sort and filter group again and click on filter. Now when I click filter I get these drop downs and they have several options but we'll just talk about what we're looking for here and that's the sorting options the right at the top you can even do something by color if you want but that involves some custom sorting so I'm gonna do sort A to Z and if you'll notice right now it's just sorting by project ID so if I do also sort A to Z you'll notice all of a sudden it's sorting by name Janet is first Perry Phil etc and now my project IDs are in a different order. Remember 8056 was the top one before? Now it's way down here. What it's doing is, since I applied the project manager sort second, I made that my primary sort. So it's sorting first by project manager and then by project ID. And so the reason it's doing that is because I clicked on project manager sort second. So this had already been sorted and then I sorted by this. So now I've got Janet in order and project ID in order within Janet. Notice how it's counting up within Janet and then it starts over with Perry's group here and it counts uh, from smallest to largest there. So uh, wherever I click last, that's gonna be my primary sort. Now we'll talk about in the next video how to use this sort button here because sometimes keeping track of where did I click last or maybe I just want to make a quick change and I don't want to do it that way or uh, more common than that even maybe I'm going to be adding more records to this table then I'll want to be using this sort button which will allow me to establish which sorting occurs first it'll let me move around the columns uh, as far as their order or add and delete sorts as well so we'll talk about that in the next video.